Cool stuff happening at Computex. Intel shows off their new Meteor Lake, and this is why the RTX 4070 should exist. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. We're live here in Taipei, bringing you Computex news that we'll be having live on the show floor. As we mentioned, we're live streaming our entire experience. So if you wanna come watch that over on Twitch, we're also giving away a 13900K plus 4090 PC in order to give you a reason to come check us out. So in case you want to see everything that's happening at Computex, including the stuff that we're going to talk about here, please join us over there. But we're going to start off today talking about Cooler Master showing off their Stream Deck competitor, which they're going to be calling the Master Hub. And this is slightly different because it has modular little pieces and doodads that you can connect together to create whatever experience you want. Whether you want scrolly wheels, you want audio knobs, you want dials, you want tuning things, you want a screen in order to show off a jife of a cat, you can have that. So these are the different versions that you can connect together on the master hub and it's not clear when these are going to release, what the price point's going to really look like, but it does look like they're taking this market seriously. You have other competitors to Elgato with Loop Deck, and now it looks like Cooler Master wants to get in on their master hub. And why I want to get in on this, the height thick. Kyler, it no, it's legit. Like in multiple ways, it is very thick. Height showing off their first water block with a five inch LCD screen, which I think looks incredible with its vertical mount like that. But then also they're calling it the thick because it's a thick radiator with thick fans. And I just feel like overall the aesthetic that Height's been going with, with their releases, with their cases, with their PCI Express extensions, and then now with their thick water cooler, they have a very clear distinguished design language. And I love seeing this. I can't wait to find this on the show floor, which again, come watch us over on Twitch in case you wanna see it IRL. But one of the things that happened yesterday at Computex that wasn't on the main show floor when Nvidia gave their keynote about all of the things that they're doing in AI, turns out that the rumor that we heard previous that MediaTek plus NVIDIA were fusing together to create some sort of partnership. The sum of the thought and speculation was, oh, we're getting phones. We're getting NVIDIA phones with ray tracing. Turns out it's cars. We're getting NVIDIA plus MediaTek cars because they want to bring a new AI experience with everything that MediaTek has on their Dimensity Auto platform. So the platform includes the Dimensity Auto cockpit, or as I say, cockpilot. <laughs> that sounds good. I'll take care of that when I'm back on cockpilot. <laughs> the auto connect and the auto drive where they're going to be using the AI processing units that MediaTek has in order to create this full service system. And NVIDIA says with this partnership, our collaborative vision is to provide a global one stop shop for the automotive industry. And MediaTek is going to be integrating a new NVIDIA GPU into the whole automotive SOC. So your car ray traced brought to you by Jensen. You just gotta pay for extra VRAM, my friends. And I gotta pay for Reese to be here at Computex. I did, I bought his ticket. It was non-refundable and that boy ain't here, but he's still gonna be bringing you the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Yo, welcome back to Gifted Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. I'm Reese, your South African deal guy who quite frankly gets jealous of all the deals I see every day. Like this 512 gig MP33 NVMe M.2 SSD from Team Group, which is currently going for only $26.49, making it $33.50 off or 55% off. All the sizes are currently on sale, but the 512 gig has the deepest discount. But the next up, we have the XFX Speedster Merc 319, which is an AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT graphics card with 16 gigs of GDDR6, which you can currently pick up for only $599.99 with the included promo code, making it the lowest price in 30 days. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thank you, Reese. But one of the deals that is not happening is CD Projekt Red has confirmed that they are not getting bought out by Sony. This was a rumor that started started on a Discord server by somebody who said it, and then it spread like wildfire, where people were like, this is why Sony showed off nothing at their showcase, because they're getting ready to do something behind the scenes. It was just a whole lot of copium for PlayStation fanboys, and CD Projekt Red has quickly shut that down, that there are no such talks with Sony and the CEO of CDPR saying, nothing has changed. I can repeat what we've been saying throughout the years. CD Projekt is not for sale. We want to remain independent. We have, I believe, an excellent strategy, not easy to execute for sure, but it's very exciting to follow our own path. So in case you hear copium, just, just tell PlayStation fanboys to suck it up. Sony's kind of dropping the ball on a few things. And that's okay. But also CDPR coming out and announcing that the Witcher series has sold over 75 million copies and Witcher 3 being over 50 million of that, but a very successful series overall. One of the most popular video game franchises of all time. Have you played the Witcher, Kyler? Not really. 
Witcher, I hardly know her. Wh <laughs> I was Witcher. I hardly know her. Thank you, Kylie. And we hardly know what Intel's getting up to with their Meteor Lake CPUs that are supposed to be launching later this year, but they are providing demos here at Computex where they showed off a 16 core, 22 thread upcoming Meteor Lake chip with not a ton of details behind it, but it will have a very intriguing core split. So it's supposed to have six performance cores eight efficiency cores, and then two more efficiency cores that are there for the SOC, whereas the other eight are for like the actual use case. It's a new split that they're designing with their tile-based CPUs that we'll have to see in execution in the future. But with all of this, they're showing off the fact that it has a VPU or a versatile processing unit, which is just the buzzword for all of the AI acceleration that they can do. NVIDIA calls it tensor cores. Apple calls it their NPU or neural processing unit. Now we're getting VPUs from Intel and they're saying that it can accelerate AI enhancement, stable diffusion, any sort of thing that happens in Adobe when it comes to generative AI or any other application. This VPU is going to accelerate the workflow so that you get more compute at lower power and that it's going to allow you to not only have 16 cores available so that you can do whatever you want in multitasking, but then in case you're using AI, you can accelerate that as well. Again, Intel being very hush hush on the whole thing, not really given a ton of details. Final specs, not really here. You can see it has 24 megabytes of L3 cache. The PC has been alive for eight straight days, as you can see on the screenshot. We'll have to keep you updated on what's going on with Meteor. Like there was the report that it's not coming out to desktop. It was only going to be a mobile release at this point. But in case you want to get it right now, there's a 16 core mobile Meteor Lake chip available on eBay for a cool $999.99. It appears to be roughly the one that Intel showed off at Computex. It's a mobile processor, so it's not going to work. You can't socket this in anywhere, but you can have it for $1,000, they've got two of them. They're located in Utah. Kyler, you wanna go grab one? Where are we going? We're getting meteor like. Why is there meat in the lake? Why do they call it an oven? If it's meteor, yeah. then that implies that there is another lake that is less meaty. Yeah, where's the less meaty lake, Intel? That's what we really wanna know. And a lot of people really wanna know, what is NVIDIA doing with this generation of graphics cards? Okay, the 4090 melting because it's consuming so much power through those little connectors. The 4070 not making a whole lot of sense at its price point, giving you only 12 gigabytes of VRAM. But it turns out Asus might have the answer all along. So they have several different GPUs that they're showing off here at Computex. They've got the new Matrix, which is gonna be their flagship RTX 4090. But this Megalodon GPU, from them seems to be the culmination of everything that we've been moving towards with the power efficiency that NVIDIA has been bringing to the table. Because in my review of the 4070, that's what I found out. You get tons of performance for less than 200 total watts from the wall when you pair it with the 5800X3D. Super efficient. And what that allows for is them to put connectors on the PCB of the graphics card that allow you to power the GPU without any cables to it. And probably one of the reasons this can happen is because it doesn't actually consume a whole lot of power. So these little addendum power slots that you see right there are what allow it to get power directly with no cables. You instead plug all of the cables into the motherboard and it's not going to deliver too much to burn everything up. I really like this concept. I would like to see more development on this for a whole range of GPUs. It's intriguing that Asus is coming out with this first. It does require a compatible motherboard, but maybe it could be a standard that comes out in the future. Let me know what you think about the Megalodon GPU you down below in the comments while I let you know that the future for he here us at Computex is we're going to be bringing you more hot news. We'll have some dedicated booth tours with our partners who brought us here to Computex. I'm very excited to talk about that. And big thanks to Unlimited IRL for providing all the data for us to be able to stream. They sponsored yesterday's episode of Hot News, so you can go check that out. And don't forget, we've got the 13900K 4090 PC that we're giving away in case you want to check out our live streams over on Twitch. I don't think anybody else is streaming Computex, Tyler. There was that one girl last night. There was that one person last night. You're right. We're frauds. See you tomorrow.